Right, another quick tip about chemistry in Word. So let's assume we want to talk about some compounds. So let me alt tab across to ChemDraw and I've got these compounds here, Iridium Vasquez complexes. And I'm gonna copy one of them and paste it in here. And center that and assume I want to call this compound one. So we bold it. And then I will talk about, well, uh, as you can see with compound one or words like that uh, and then wait a minute I'm gonna have to discuss this one first so I'll copy paste that one up here center it and this is compound no um, this is compound one now and now I need to remember this as two uh, and which means I need to find this as compound two now you can do that manually and you've only got two or three in a lab report maybe this will be quicker but if you've got running into dozens of them there are easier ways to do this so what we're going to do is use the built-in captions so under the references tab I'm going to insert a caption and I'm going to create a new label called compound it doesn't really matter whether we're going to use it this way we're going to use it in a slightly different way in a moment I'm going to OK that compound one and well, I'm just going to remove that so once I've deleted that part that says compound I've got one here and then I can go to references cross-reference which is this number here and then here it is compound one only label a number and insert that right that could be a little bit uh, tricky so now we've got that all set up what I'm going to do is press Control F9 to bring up a new field. So this might be new for people uh, because what these numbers are, are they, they are a sequence field. And we can do that by typing SEQ and then a space. And I want to tell Word what sequence I'm dealing with. So I'm going to type in the word compound. Great. Once I've done that, this is the field that actually generates it. And I'm going to press F9 and there we have compound one. This is the exact same route as inserting caption, but you might find it a little bit easier uh, rather than clicking around. So if I right click and update these fields here, they have updated to number two. And again, I can do references, cross-reference. Alternatively, I can right click, cross-reference and add to quick access toolbar. And that appears all the way up here in the top left. And if I press alt, uh, it immediately flags up a load of different numbers and options for me to insert things in. So if I press Alt and then type 6, I get to my uh, cross-reference. So I can write compound 1 or 1 reacts with H2 to form Alt 6 compound 2. Substitute that, uh, and this will keep track of your numbers. So if we want to replace that, Control X, put that up there. Update all of these fields, and it will automatically update everything. So if you do have ChemDraw objects in, and you press Control A, uh, the ChemDraw fingers override the uh, update field thing. So you may want to paste them in as images once you've done with them. But at least if they are as chem draw objects, you can edit them afterwards. And that is one way of keeping track of your compounds. If you're writing a large dissertation, it usually helps to have these on uh, a big page at the very beginning. So you can fold it out. Um, I've certainly done it a few other big, big PhD theses uh, do that, and it makes it reading easier. So if you build that first, you can then start referencing your compounds.